and Charlie's Angels for the GameCube has been called one of the worst games of all time. Critically speaking, it's worse than the sum of all fears, Bad Boys, Miami Takedown, and Aquaman, making it the worst GameCube game ever made. GameStop gave Charlie's Angels a 1.9 out of 10, calling it, quote, very, very bad. However, though IGN states, quote, it couldn't be more straightforward or uninspired, and is not recommended for anyone, they still rewarded it a 4 out of 10. Game critics said the best thing about Charlie's Angels is, it never crashes, giving it a 0.5 out of 10. However, Worth Playing gave it a slightly more generous 3.2 out of 10. There's a bit of a discrepancy here. If there's a measure that separates a game from a 9.0 and a 9.5, then isn't there a measure that separates a game from a 1.9 and a 0.5? What I'm asking is, what separates a very bad game from a truly awful one? Full disclosure, I managed to pick up a copy of Charlie's Angels for free at a buy two get one free sale. I have only ever played this game once, and that was briefly, just to make sure the game actually worked. What you are about to see are my honest first impressions. Okay, so we're gonna go into this game with a positive attitude. I'm gonna try and be as fair as I possibly can. I'm gonna put 50 points up on the board, and for everything that I like about the game, I'll give it points, and for things I don't like, I will take away points. In the end, a score above 50 uh, means eh, it's not that bad. I've played worse. And a score below 50 is, yeah, it really is that bad. Because we know it's bad. But I want to find out, is it really that bad? Here we go. Charlie's Angels on the GameCube. Oh, I don't have a memory card in. That's fine. I will continue without saving. I think I'll be fine. Ooh, there are bonuses. Photos of the movie shoot. Unlockables. Okay, that's kind of cool. Briefing Alaska. Wait, this takes place in Alaska? Uh-oh. That's where I'm from. Ooh, there's credits. <laughs> wow, that's scrolling pretty fast. Alright. Let's do this. Entire statue just missing like that? <laughs> well, that's hilarious. It's so, a plus five for the <laughs> stupid story. Appearance of other monuments, including the Octa Triumph, wow. the Stonehenge Monolith in England, and the Lincoln Memorial in Washington D.C. The Monument Pirates have struck again in the dead of night. The, the, mo the Monument Pirates? That doesn't make any sense. That's awesome. Good morning, Angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. As you've seen, the head of the FBI is at a loss. The president himself has requested our help, Bosley. A giant cargo ship was spotted off the Easter Island coast. That is not Bernie Mac. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Break it down, Boz. How do we get aboard? In order to approach it without drawing too much attention, you girls will sign up for the Miss Bikini Contest on the beach. That ought to keep the sailors occupied. While well, we gain access to the ship. And once we get aboard, well, if we're really interested, <laughs> bad voice the acting. Got them. Find him and convince him to cooperate. I love a man in uniform. Oh, an I don't know. I kind of like. Sink the boat. I kind of like sure bad voice acting. Might not appreciate it. Boss, it was just that once. The roof was rigged with C4. Right. Rooftops exploding. Boats sinking. You girls can't answer the phone without something catching on fire or flipping over. Good point, Boss. We'll try not to blow anything up. If we encounter a hitch, we'll keep a lid on collateral damage. Anchors away, angels. Find that captain and see if Bosley's theory holds water. Okay, so this is positive. We have a stupid story. Oh, look at these, look at these babes. That's... <laughs> yep. I'm saying plus five for a uh, dumb story. <laughs> and uh, bad acting. Whoa.
Oh. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so the point of Charlie's Angels is, is you got these three babes, super sexy babes, saving the world, whatever. Um, normally, I don't I don't judge on graphics, but I'm a little insulted that you just show me these bikini babes like you would think I'm gonna find this sexy. Uh, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna say, whoa, what the, whoa, Alec and Jake. Hold on, I'm doing a, yeah, negative five on the graphics. Those are. No, there's nothing sexy about your polygons. I'm a little insulted that you would think I'd find that sexy. All right, oh, we got jumping. Whoa! Look at that jump. Okay, it's block. There's kick. <laughs> Wait, X. Y is punch. X is kick. A is jump. No, B is jump and like a block. Aha! Take that, and Not bad. Not bad. That jumping reminds me of... Virtual Fighter. We have decent frame rate. These graphics are really bad, but at least it isn't slow and clunky. Take that, Jim. <laughs> so, combat seems really shallow, but... You know, the controls seem pretty responsive. Man, these camera switches are really jarring. Look at these... Oh, that Invisible walls everywhere. <laughs> Wait. Fuck you, gravity. Woo! Aww. Just mildly upset. Aww. I got hit with a wrench. There's actually a corner here. I actually can't. This is actually super linear. Well, I can't even go back now. I can't go past this dumpster. Can't get past this red line on the sidewalk. You go, Alex. <laughs> Looks just like Lucy Liu. Just like Ora and Ishii. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh, really bad camera, holy shit. Took a lot of health. Five hits, six, seven. Wait, ten hit combo, and it's not bad. Whoa, what? What just happened? Whoa, what? Am, what just happened? Oh, I locked on. Okay. Invisible walls plus really bad camera, and no backtracking. That's really strange. Move forward. Oh, camera change. And now I cannot go back. Ow! Fuck you! Okay. That's, that music's not bad. What? I don't understand what this arrow is pointing to. go up oh oh look at that sultry pose yeah okay I'm off to the boat I'll swing by and get you Alex <laughs> whoa so far it's not hard I still prefer my bad games to be at least easy. It's not frustrating. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! I'm not losing health. I'm 
been taking a lot of hits here. Not losing health. Oh man, that jumping is really bad. Okay. Oh man, this camera's horrible. What the fuck? I couldn't see that coming. So the controls aren't actually that bad. It's the camera angles and these invisible walls that show up. Dude, stop blocking, jerk. Oh, I have my health back. Oh, I see. The number by my... Alright, so the number by my health bar is the number of health bars I have. So, there's no, like, stupid checkpoints. So, again, no, like, dumbass checkpoints. I'm guessing if I lose all my health, it's just game over. But so far, shit's pretty easy. I might not see that. Whoa, whoa! C button and D-pad do nothing. There's absolutely no camera control. I don't know, combat is shallow, but at least it's, you know, the game is easy. Controls are responsive. It's shallow, but, you know, it works. Oh. Back over here. Hey, Alex. Oh, hey, he threw a box. It missed me, and it hit one of the other guys. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, right there. See, he missed me with the wrench and hit the dude. Okay. I would not expect that from uh, a game like this of this caliber. And you, there's no run button, but you run fast, you run swiftly. This one's not slow. Oh, wait. I got a bicycle kick. What the? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> okay, I want to go up the ladder. Wait, I have to... A game where invisible walls pop up constantly to impede you from going backwards. But still you can climb down ladders or up ladders. Seems like they would just automatic. Why do, I, why do I have to manually do this? Why don't I just go up the... Jesus. Why don't I just go up the ladders automatically? Wow. Oh. You know, I like that it tells me what exactly I should be doing. I like that. <laughs> I like when the little reticle appears. Hey, click this. Thanks. I do genuinely appreciate that. This game could have been a lot more confusing. Oh fuck, I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> Hurry, Alex, we gotta get out of here now. I was What? That was confusing. Oh. Wait, I finished before I had a chance. To see all my score. I don't know how many not bad, good, excellence, and perfects I got. Woo. Alright. Okay. Brad. Algar. Algar? Al Algar. What kind of name is Algar? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Wait, that's excellent? <laughs> I just did an excellent bicycle kick. Wait, what's that? There's something behind that. Oh, I got a film reel. I'm trying to get away, do the bicycle kick. Because it's like crazy powerful. That is really hard. So the bicycle kick is not only hilarious, it's a really good move. But these guys run up on you, they don't let you get away. And you need some distance to perform the bicycle kick move. It's really difficult to perform, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Because it appears to be a really cheap move, but it's, it's difficult to pull off. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that! Sorry, Ash. I got an excellent. Alright. And also, this is a game made in 2003. Like, I've, I, I think Dynamite Cop for the Dreamcast that came out in 99 looked about as good. <laughs> Wait, am I fighting two Alga Algars? I am fighting two Algars. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ooh, I saw a hint of slowdown there. Alvin, Bob. Yeah, I, I got a wrench. Whoa! Wrenches are super strong. Got some health. Okay. No, I appreciate that. You get plus five. For just those radicals. Cut the bullshit, tell me what to do, I appreciate it. So, it is not confusing. It is, it is, it is a straightforward brawler. So I've seen a, t a, a, a tiny, a tiny touch of slowdown, so overall, like, the graphics are bad, but at least there's no slowdown. Whoa, what the fuck? These camera angles, god damn. Now, I I just got hit like twice, and near as I can tell, I haven't taken any damage. Yeah, like that. The only danger, it seems like, is, is from weapons, when people throw wrenches and shit at you. Get out of here, Andy. Trying to explore the levels because there's collectibles. The invisible walls like actually impede you from collectibles. So actually, the invisible walls gets another minus five. <laughs> Lucy Lou, what are you doing? <laughs> what was that? No, no, do it again. Wait, no. You do that again, Lucy Lou. I'm gonna fucking wait, I don't care. <laughs> That's plus five. That is plus five. Dumb dancing. That is amazing. Oh my god. Oh. Look at you, so sexy. Yes, uh. Oh. Alright, so with R, you lock on a target, and by hitting Z, you switch targets. Oh my god, this camera angle! Again, folks, I cannot change this camera angle. I got nothing on the C-Stick. I got nothing on the D-Pad. I 
I got cupcake. Lucy Glue loves cupcakes. Okay. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh my God! Whoa! Okay, I'm not. I'm not dumb. I'm trying to go up these stairs. Fuck! I just got punched like three times, but it was the knife throw that hurt me. Yeah! Oh, Ren Ishii got my knife! Hattori Hanzo steal! Mm. Do the dance. Do the dance to the knife, Lucy Lou. Oh. <laughs> but the knife disappears! She has a knife again. Oh god. Anytime, guys. God, these character animations are really bad. The super weird. Po I, don't, I don't think women's bodies can even do that. Not even these sexy babes. Okay, I've been playing for about a half hour now. Think of. I can't tell if I've. Like, how many levels I've played here. I genuinely don't know what level I'm on. And what am I doing back here? Back to the computer again? Okay, I'm here. But you've been there. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Look at this fine camera. Oh, hey, I'm in the Resident Evil mansion. <laughs> Arrow's pointing me to go this way, but that's not the right way. Mash is supposed to go this way. Get out of here, Algar. I have never met a person named Algar. Stop blocking. I always hate that there's the token blocking guy in all brawlers. <laughs> Aww. Why'd you have to hit me? Aww. Ooh, a CD. <laughs> what? Why do those disappear? If the ship goes down, we need those. <laughs> I keep forgetting to block. I keep forgetting to block because I don't fucking need to. Like I, I, I hit twice. I lost no health. Okay, that was kind of cool, but the space between there, okay, that was kind of cool. Fine. Yeah, this music is super generic, but, you know, it's not abhorrent. That's a plus five for decent music. Jeez, did you see that kick? God damn. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. But I only got 25 points for it. Can't go up the stairs, it's weird. Okay, the mission's completed, but I, I, it just tallies up my score before I get a chance to see. Because I actually got a couple perfects and a couple excellents. I, wa I wanted to see. What the fuck? I don't know, gang. I think I'm leaning towards that this game actually ain't that bad. <sighs> the camera's bad, but I can... I, I always can see my girl. The one I'm playing as so as far as bad camera goes it's actually not that bad I'm more pissed off at the uh, lack of control at the camera that blows and this 
Invisible walls. I hate these invisible walls. This is this is stupid. Wait, I was already here. And I still can't go down, down that hallway. Oh man, I'm playing the same bullshit again. This is the exact same. I didn't like die accidentally, did I? Wait, am I having deja vu? I know I think I played this part I was Lucy Lou. I don't think I was Drew Barrymore. Wait, so this whole level I'm just playing this cruise ship again? Does this say how many levels there are? Let's see. I haven't bought the breed this yet. Oh! Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, coming soon. I can't wait. Alright, that was awful too. Wait. Angel time? <laughs> There's angel time? Doesn't say how many levels there are. Okay, so I played about 45 minutes of this game. Um, you know, this we already know this game is really bad. There's no point in playing it through to the end. Again, we're just measuring overall badness. Uh, I think being 100% accurate might not be really that important for a game that we already know is really bad, so. Let me just do the math here. Um, stuff that I felt compelled to write down. Starting with 50. It has a super dumb story. The Statue of Liberty and the and the Lincoln Monument just vanishing. That is hilarious. That is it's fucking stupid, and that's that's awesome. Uh, the bad voice acting at the beginning. I thought that was funny. Normally, I wouldn't. I would not. I wouldn't deduct on graphics, but the fact that the angels are wearing bikinis the whole time. It, it, as, as a straight male, it's kind of insulting that, like, they would think, Oh, yeah, they're gonna find these pixels so sexy. You get minus five for the graphics. Uh, but the graphics suck, sure. But, you know, the frame rate's fine. I, I don't care about the graphics so much as long as the game plays. The game plays all right. There's no slowdown. It runs fine. I'll take shitty graphics any day as long as the frame rate is fine. And the frame rate on Charlie's Angels, I saw no dips, so give you plus five on that, you back to 60. Uh, the invisible walls are jarring and awful. And this is bad because it fundamentally hurts the ability to explore the game and collect things. So actually, that's two minus fives, right back down to 50. Uh, and this, this bad camera is so jarring and so quickly moving. It's really bad, but at the same time, like I said, this quick moving camera sucks, but you always know what you're doing and what's happening. So at least the actual fighting, you can see that. So actually, the bad camera is both good and bad. It evens out. Uh, but with this invisible wall, there's no backtracking at all. Like, I don't even mind the exploration, but like, there's just no backtracking. It's just so jarring and so such a strange way to make a game linear. So. That's down to 45. There's no um, checkpoints. If you lose a life, you just keep right going. So that's actually fine. That keeps it kind of simple. The reticles are like, boom, go here, do this. So good, cuts on the bullshit. Tells you exactly where I need to go. The dumb dancing, oh my God. That's the best thing about this game as far as I'm concerned. I hope that you all can appreciate that dancing. That's fucking incredible. Um. You know, the music was fine, it wasn't jarring, it was very, very mundane, but it did, it did its job, it's fine. And again, being easy and boring is better than being super hard. I, I predict that if you did want to beat this game, you would just have to put, you just have to play it. You wouldn't have to get good at it. Um, but if I had to choose between the two lesser, the lesser of two evils, a game that is hard and broken, or a game that is easy and boring, I'll take the easy boring, so it gets a plus five for that. So in the end, Charlie's Angels. No, it is not that bad. It is bad, but I say no, it is not that bad. Again, I bought this for free. <laughs> I actually got this for free, did not pay money for it. I got a couple more of these in the future, like I do actually own The Sum of All Fears, which is supposed to be another really, really bad GameCube game. Maybe I'll do this, but... Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm Derek Alexander, and uh, this was 
is it really that bad? And we learned today that Charlie's Angels, no, it really isn't that bad. Thanks for watching.